Salutations audience, my name is Mike and we are back in another video that is not gameplay. But don't worry, because as soon as I'm done telling you about my 75, I'm gonna go and play a match. Not in the same video of course, in case you guys want that separate. I like to keep things very organized, separate, all that kind of stuff. So we're going back to Vapor Snag. It's a card I like very much. I took it out recently for Spreading Seas. I think against the field, in the dark, Vapor Snag is the card you want least out of Vapor Snag, Simic Charm, and Dismember. And I guess Spreading Seas too now because that's sort of in that split. Because basically Dismember and Vapor Snag are dead against any deck that doesn't present a creature. And Spreading Seas is dead against most decks that have islands. Although it, it at least draws a card, so that's not too bad. So Vapor Snag is the one I like the least out of those four. But I like it enough that I think it deserves a slot in the sideboard right now. And the other card we're pulling out is good old Snapcaster Mage. That guy's fantastic. Let's get the Innistrad one. And he's going to go here too. Both of these cards are going into the sideboard. Um, Spreading Seas... Renegade, I have not played with these cards nearly enough to know whether or not they deserve a spot in the deck. So far, they're at least passable. I don't know if in practice Spreading Seas is better than Vapor Snag, or even Simic Charm number 2, or maybe Disrupting Shoal, Spell Snare, a 7th Bolt Effect. So far, I like it. It seems at least okay. And Narnum Renegade... Seems pretty good in the meta due to big death shadows and just the fact that when people are playing with big death shadows, other people who aren't playing death shadow want to bring big creatures of their own. Renegade does a pretty good job blocking, I think. Of course, I only have like three or four data points, so realistically I have no idea, but it seems like a good idea to have one in the 75. And I think I'd rather have it in the main board, just because I like siding it out, really. There are a lot of decks like Storm that I don't want it against. But it's also never actually dead, because it at least does 2 damage. So I don't hate it being in my main deck. In the sideboard, I don't think I would bring it in enough to warrant its inclusion. Because in the main, it helps game 1 against... Well, really only the decks that it's good against, but it helps against Death Shadow and maybe some Eldrazi decks. In theory, I don't think so, but I don't have the practice to know that. I think it helps against Death Shadow decks in Game 1, and also in Games 2 and 3. Whereas, if we only brought it in for Games 2 and 3, I don't think it really deserves the spot in the 75. Of course, I don't know, but we're going to find out as we go if Renegade deserves its spot here. Curiosity is also under at least some review just because it's another card that I added in relatively recently as a bit of a hedge against midrange. Seems at least fine though. I like that Curiosity is pretty much just good in the dark because we always want to be attacking most of the time and being able to draw cards while you kill the opponent seems pretty good. So, Snapcaster Mage and Vapor Snag are the cards coming into our sideboard. The two cards I've been looking at recently at Cutting are Surgical and Dismember number 2. I don't think these pull their weight. Dismember comes in against Grixis Death Shadow. I don't like it against the Jund version because Goyf gets too big, I think. And Dismember also comes in against Eldrazi decks. I think we have enough against Eldrazi decks. Against Eldrazi Tron, I board in, I think, like, 11 or 12 cards I was looking at recently. So I really don't think cutting Dismember hurts me too much. Um, Bant Eldrazi, I'm sure we're fine. We also now have Spreading Seas, which we weren't playing before. Spreading Seas is good against just about every deck Dismember is good against. So I don't really hate cutting it. Dismember goes to the wayside for this Vapor Snag. Like I said, I like Vapor Snag as a card. Seems good. I like bouncing things. I'm, I've am i been an Is It Mage for most of the time I've been playing Magic, ever since I got the Is It Duel deck. 
So Vapor Snag is right up my alley. I like it. I think it's good in the meta. I very much like it against Death Shadow decks. I've won games, or at least one game I know of, not recorded. Probably the reason I'm telling you this, because otherwise, you'd probably know already. I have won at least one game against Death Shadow where Snap, Vapor Snag, now we have enough attackers to their blockers that we can get through. And the one life that they lose is definitely relevant, because we win by putting people to zero life. When they're at one, they're not at zero. So that's a thing. Snapcaster's coming in over Extraction. I think Extraction is a fine card. I just don't think it's good enough, really. I'm not a fan of Graveyard Hate in this deck. Against Dredge, I bring in Extraction. I also bring in, I think, two Pyroclasms, and that's it. Now I'll be bringing in Vapor Snag as well, because I like the feeling of bouncing a Stinkweed Imp or a Blood Ghast. Bouncing Prized Amalgam feels great. Messes them up nicely. So I think our need for Extraction goes down just a smidge. Not much, because obviously Graveyard Hate is way better against them than Vapor Snag. But I do like Vapor Snag against them, so I would want to bring it in anyways. And I don't think Surgical deserves its slot. I would bring it in against Dredge, against Storm, and basically black-green X decks for use against Lingering Souls, Delirium, and maybe to take away Death Shadows, but I'm not positive how good that would be. Um, I think Snapcaster Mage number two is probably just better because Snap doesn't come in against Dredge, but I wouldn't hate bringing it in against Storm. I could see doing that, even though I don't want to go too high on the grindy cards like Snap. Being able to increase the clock, get more counter spells seems good. Snap wouldn't come in against Dredge because I do think we need to be very aggressive in that matchup. They have the inevitability, we are definitely the beatdown, and Snapcaster Mage is great against Black, Green, Midrange, and Death Shadow. I still don't know if I'd rather have Renegade here than the second Snapcaster Mage, in which case Renegade's probably gone. For now, I think Renegade still deserves its trial period, and second Snapcaster is gonna go here. Snapcaster's pretty much just a good card. That's one of the biggest reasons to play blue, unless you just really like blue because you're a fairly dedicated blue mage. But if what you like are good cards that give value, then Snapcaster Mage is really good. It's very flexible, and if I want it, it can come in against a bunch of matchups. It, like Curiosity, is a bit of a hedge against more mid-rangey decks because... While they aren't common, things like traditional Jund, traditional Obzon, they're not exactly good matchups for us. So I want better ways of dealing with them. I think Snapcaster is way better against them than Surgical is. I was also considering 4th Huntmaster for that slot where the Snapcaster is, but I'm a little skeptical of going to 4-4 four, four drops in a deck when you want to be cutting down on your cantrips. We usually cut Thought Scours against those mid-range decks because you don't need to fill your graveyard and you can wait a little longer to get your land drops, but when you're clogging your hand with a bunch of Huntmasters, you can't really wait. So that is our updated 75. I think this is what I'll be going with for a while unless the meta shifts and or I come to a conclusion on Renegade, Spreading Seas, or decide curiosity is not worth it. Uh, maybe we'll decide we don't like Vapor Snag and it's not actually good enough. But right now, I think I like this. This is what I'm going to go with. And thanks for watching.